Good morning. Welcome to PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to handle multiple checkbox in PHP. To implement this program, the following steps are used. Step 1. Create HTML program tute10.htm Step 2. Create PHP program tute10.php Step 3. For each loop is used to determine which checkbox is selected by the user. Step 4. Run the q10.htm program. Let's start. I first start the editor like notepad or notepad++. plus plus. Select the language. Language. HTML. First create the basic HTML program structure code here like HTML had title. I set the title handle multiple checkbox in PHP. After that I close the head tag. Now I start the body tag, close the body tag and finally I close the HTML tag. In the body tag we have the requirement of HTML form so I create the form with the help of form tag. The form tag contains three attributes. First one is name, form one. Second attribute is method. Here I set the value post. And third attribute is action. Action attribute contain the PHP file name put and dot stm dot php. After the starting form tag, right now I close it. Form. In the form tag, I set the caption like select a program. After this, I call the BR tag to change the row. After this, I use the input tag to create the checkbox. Input name equals to C. Type equal to checkbox and value. The most important attribute is value attribute value equals to dca and here I set the caption of checkbox like dca program after this I use the br tag I just copy the code control c and paste it Here I change the value and caption attribute MCA MCA and next one is PG DCA PG DCA. After that I create a submit button with the help of again input tag input name equals to S1 type equals to submit and value equals to show when we create multiple checkbox into the php program all the checkbox has same name like in this program you can see here all the checkbox has common name c c but when we create multiple checkbox in html we must assign unique array name to all the checkbox like in this program you can see here all the checkbox is a part of array and array name is C after creating this program I save my program click on file save all the program must be saved into the C drive XAMPP and Astrodox my program name is cute tan dot HTM and click on save after creating HTML file we have to create PHP file also for this click on file new set the language click on language scroll the list and PHP here I start the PHP tag PHP at the same time I close it PHP 
in this code first i declare a variable dollar p this variable contain the all the checkbox which are selected by the user dollar p equals to dollar underscore post in dollar underscore post i pass the name of checkbox which is c and semicolon after this i want to print all the checkbox caption which are selected by the user for this i use the for each loop this loop is very easy as compared to the for loop the first parameter name is in the for each loop the first parameter is dollar p dollar p after that as keyword and after that you can declare any variable calibrate is start in this code i just call the echo function and i pass the dollar i variable here dollar i and br tag br and after this semicolon the for each loop automatically execute at the number of times according to user select the check boxes now this file is complete click on file and save this file is also saved into the astdocs folder and file name is q10.php click on save after this i minimize the editor and I start the zen click on start start minimize it open the web browser and type http colon slash slash local host slash html file name which is cute and dot htm and press the enter here you can see the interface all the checkbooks are displayed here like bca program bb program and bcom program sorry bc program mc program and pgdc program i select the bc program click on show here you can see the selected course is display here click on back mc program show both courses are shown here click on back i select all these three courses click on show these courses are display here but when i did not select any checkbox and click on show here you can see rms is dis display here to resolve this problem we have to make a small changes in our code switch to editor in this editor we first check whether the user select check boxes or not for this i put a condition here if is set and i pass the dollar dollar underscore post and in this dollar underscore post i pass the checkbox name which is c it means this code will only execute when the user select at least one checkbox if user did not select any checkbox i add the else part here and display a message like echo please select a program and semicolon click on file save minimize the editor click on back and refresh it now i select bca here you can see see the selected courses display click on back this time i did not select any program click on show here you can see the message are shown here please select a program in this program you have learned how to handle multiple checkbox into the php if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel share this video on facebook twitter blogger linkedin and twitter also if you have any problem regarding this tutorial kindly email or contact us with with the given mobile number Thank you for watching my video.